Hello and welcome back to the slums of Osaka, my favourite place in all of Japan. Look at this, look at this one, it's massive. What would happen if the wind was really strong and it got blown away? Excuse me. No one here. Weird place. Um, could I have a room for one night? One... Uh, empty room. No empty room. So no empty... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, could I have one room, one night? Nine. Nine. Oh, okay, thank you. <sighs> Every time I go into one of these stupid hotels, they say I don't have any rooms. So I've had the worst day ever. I've never had an idea for a video go so badly. Usually when I have an idea, I go out and I make it happen. But this is one of the first times that I went out to get footage and I completely failed in what I was supposed to do for the video. So the idea for the video was I was going to stay in the cheapest hotel in the slums of Osaka. Because when I went there last time, there were loads of these hotels that only cost about $10 a night. There was even some that cost about $8 a night. I thought, they must be really bad rooms, so that might be interesting for a video. And then I go there and I went to several of the hotels and then two of them said they didn't have any rooms, which I find very hard to believe. I mean, it's a huge apartment building. How could you not even have one room free? And then one of them, I was waiting at the reception counter thing for a bit and no one even came there was no one there i don't know if they were hiding around the corner or something maybe i should have spoken in japanese i don't know i didn't think it really mattered maybe it's because i wasn't a homeless old man which is what most of the people there seem to be it was so annoying well i'll try again tomorrow i'll go back and this time i'll try speaking in japanese see if it makes any difference and i might have to take the gopro off until i get the room at least <sighs> Such an irritating, frustrating day. Station number M16. Passengers can transfer here. That guy's taking a piss. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many police over here. What's going on? Um, do you have any rooms? One night? 
One month? No. No. One week. One week. Um, okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> it says one night on the stupid sign. Why does it say 1,500 a day if you're only allowed a minimum of seven days? Stupid place. Excuse me, uh, do you have a room? Do you have a room? No English. No, um, hair aitemasu ka? Kyo wa nai. Nai desu ka? Oh, okay, thank you. Well, at least I tried. No English, my backside. Stupid park hotel. Come on, they must have at least one room. What a load of BS this place is. I can't believe they don't even have one room. Uh, excuse me, do you have any rooms? Any rooms? One night? Oh, no vacancy. Oh, okay. Sorry, thank you. Did not see that sign there. My bad. Hello? says it's a hotel. I go into all of these places, none of them have receptions. You just go in there, there's no people. So strange. There's no one here. It says to phone that phone number. Uh, none of these places have receptions. This idiot put his bicycle right in front of the entrance. It seems like you can't just walk in and book a room. You have to phone them up or something. It's very confusing. Well, I'm very sorry, but it seems like I failed, failed everyone on today's video. I was unable to book myself a room in the slums. Well, I hope it was interesting anyway.
so annoying. I'm back home now, and I'm just very frustrated with how that video went. Didn't go how I expected it to go at all. I went to eight different places. Half of them didn't even have any reception staff at the reception. The other half just said they didn't have any rooms, which I find extremely difficult to believe. Come on, they must have had at least one room in one of those places. They really shouldn't advertise themselves as a hotel if it's supposed to be a place for homeless people. All of those places had the word hotel written above the doorway, and none of them gave me a room. How, how could I go to eight different places and not even get at least one room in one of them? If they don't want to act like a hotel, they shouldn't call themselves a hotel. Maybe they just didn't want to give me a room because I'm obviously not a homeless old man. Well, then they shouldn't advertise themselves as a hotel then. They should advertise themselves as cheap housing for homeless people. So annoying because I had this idea of a video where I would show you these really cheap places in that area where you could get a room for about $10 a night. And my plans just completely failed. Maybe that's why there's so many homeless people in that area, because it's so damn hard to get a hotel room. <sighs> Never ever going back there ever again. If you're looking for a cheap hotel, do not go to the slums. That's my advice.